Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Broken Sword 5 The Serpent's Curse. Uh, we're in Montserrat and we are trying to, I guess, repair this console so that we can get the cable car um, up and running again. Our friends Pearl and Dwayne are inside the cable car because, of course, um, they just appear on every adventure we have, so we're going to have to try and get hold of them. Um, we picked up in the last one this lunchbox. A talking lunchbox. Locked. Which is... Uh, With no key, I was going to have to find a way to break into it. Okay, we're going to have to find a way to break into it. Can we pick the lock? Yeah, I think we can. The lock was too well made to be picked. Oh, okay, the lock's too well made to be picked, so we can't do that. Do we have anything else? I don't think so. Unless there's like... So we've got this hatch here. The console circuitry looked pretty complex. And dangerous. Yeah, so the circuitry... I mean, there's a name there. I don't know if we can maybe find out a, an address or something. We've got a, a lever here. This door is also locked, but I think there's somebody locked in there. So we're going to have to figure out what to do there. What does this do again? Is this dead? I've forgotten. No, that moves these. But it doesn't do anything else. This one doesn't work at all, so we're going to have to try and fix this. Um, we've got some wheels here. Let's, can we figure out what the deal here was? Uh, uh, wait, 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 please, we mean you no harm. Please, come out. I'm staying right here until I know it's safe. Yeah, um, so we've got these cogs. The huge cogs were part of the cable car mechanism. Can we... Can we... do this to, like, destroy the box? Because this moves, right? So if we put this on here, is this a thing? The box was now wedged in the cogs, or rather, the giant can opener. Right, yeah, okay, so it's going to be like a giant can opener, as George says. So if we pull the lever, hopefully that might, I don't know, destroy the the box? I mean, I'm hoping it doesn't destroy whatever's inside as well, but given that George is doing it, I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, yeah, okay, literally just opened it and then jammed it, fine. That's quite a mess you've made there, Georges. No, it's just a lid. Just busted the lid You know what they open. say about making omelets, Nico? You can't make them without strawberry jam? Uh, strawberry jam? I, I don't even... I don't get that. Oh, the, oh jam! Strawberry okay. jam was smeared all over <laughs> the machinery. I thought that was like some weird joke. Yeah, okay, literally jam. So there must have been like a jam. Just as I thought, it's a two-way radio. Ah. Uh, can anyone hear me? Ah, oh, look who it is. Dwayne, this is George. George Stobart. Holy cow, George. Get the fella I need. How you doing, buddy? Good. I'm good, Dwayne. And, and don't you worry, I'll have you out of there in a minute. Ah, uh, you reckon you can get the cable car running again? No, the console isn't working properly. I've got no idea why not. George, this is Pearl. Get Cat to help you. She knows everything about that place. Cat? Woman in there, maybe? Is she the girl in the closet? Has she locked herself in? Oh dear. Let me talk to her, darling. Okay. Fine. So, anything else in the, the lunchbox? The box was mangled beyond repair. No. We've got jam on here. Strawberry jam was smeared all over the machinery. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Um, right, let's, I guess, use the radio on the door. The question is, is Dwayne with the CIA in this one, or is he Cat, not? <laughs> I found you a friendly voice. How do you know my name? Cat, dear. It's me, Pearl. Pearl? How did you get here? That's not possible. Listen, darling, it really is me. But I'm on the radio. George here is a very decent guy and you should open the door. You should. I'm not going to fall for that. Prove it's you. Alright. Remember we discovered we both love musicals? Yeah. And my favourite one is? How does it go now? Help out. I am the very model of a modern major general. I've information, vegetable, animal, and mineral. I know the kings of England, and I quote the fights historical. 
From marathon to Waterloo in order categorical. Um, I'm very good in integral and differential calculus. I know the scientific names of beans and the malculus. In short, in matters vegetable, animal, and mineral. I am the very model of a modern major general. Well, that was certainly something. All right, only Pearl would know that, and I trust her. Good. Who are you? Why are you British? I'm George, and this is Nico. How did you end up in a closet? There were some guys with guns. They took over the whole station. I hid in here. We're trying to avoid them too. I was quite surprised, you know. They never mentioned guns at the job interview. Really? Uh, we need to use the cable car. Can you operate it? Yeah, if the console was working, but they sabotaged it. Yeah, we found that out. And there's no <coughs> way to get it started? Mm, there might be. Let me see. Go on then. I mean, I guess she could be like see a... See that burned out fuse down there? Yeah. In the back by the prongs? Whereabouts? Yeah. The idiots that? stuck a spanner in there and blew the fuse. They wanted to make sure no one could use the cable car. Could have electrocuted themselves. Connect those two prongs somehow, and the console prongs. should restart. Oh, here. I can just see, I've just seen it. How on earth are we going to reach that? I don't know. But don't stick your arm in there. You'll get fried. Oh, good. All right. Well, I mean, the obvious thing that's jumping out at me is the paperclip, right, to connect the two prongs. But it's metal, so... I mean, can we talk to this lady? Should we talk before we try and do this? Yeah, maybe she's like an overseas student or something. I just wasn't Hi. expecting... It's Cat, isn't it? British accent. Yeah, Cat D. Catty? And you run the station? <laughs> no. This is just a summer job. Right, okay. Alright, let's ask. So, what do you do when you aren't locked in cupboards? <laughs> I'm a designer. Oh. I knew a designer once. She... George, we're in a bit of a hurry here. Of course. I was just curious about Cat. Yes, I bet. Okay, fine. Uh, apologies if you can hear that rattling in the background. Um, we have gerbils, and one of them is like viciously attacking the toy they have in there, <laughs> like ramming it into the bars. Um, How come you job. know about repairing consoles? I like to know what I'm working with. Got any ideas how I'm going to reach those prongs? Don't you have something useful in your pocket? Probably. Yep, most likely. We, we usually do, to be fair. Uh, Santa Cova. So what's down there? There's a little chapel called Santa Cova. Did those guys go down there too? No, I think they settled for closing down the cable car. Yeah, they went to the monastery, right? What about Duane and Pearl? How do you know Pearl? She and Duane came through here this morning. You seem like old friends. I know. It's almost as if I'd seen her before. Huh. That's interesting. All right, well... Let's um let's try and figure this out. Can we access oh we can access so this is the prong these are the prongs. I here. needed to electrically connect the two prongs to hotwire the console. Alright, so we've got the prongs. Is there anything else? There's a bunch of the wires. The console look complicated and dangerous. Anything else we can look at in here? Gizmos. I needed to avoid touching anything that could give me a shock. Alright. Some gizmos, resistance. I needed to avoid touching anything that could give me a shot. All right, George, I'm just having a look, man. Just let me do, let me do my examining. Uh, right, so, I mean, really the only thing I can think of is this paperclip, but I'm, I'm worried we might get zapped. Can we die in this game? Have we died yet? I can't even remember. The paperclip would do the trick connecting the two prongs. Okay, there we go. But then. I didn't want to just throw it in there. I might miss. Oh, Okay. Do we have to attach it to something, maybe? Um, <coughs> we've got the... No, that didn't work. All right, no, that didn't work. Have we got anything we can... We've got a matchbox. Matches? Look at the matches. Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Hmm, okay. Let's think. So we've got the prongs. How are we going to reach in there without zapping ourselves? We need something... Some sort of, like, long tool, right? I don't know that we've got anything like that. A paperclip from the Vera office. We've got the matchbox. I'm not really sure how... 
There was no way I could reach that far. Okay, we can't reach that far. Hmm. Is there any anything we can use? Maybe in the cupboard? Yeah, maybe in the cupboard actually. Let's I ask about think this. She'd like that. Okay, she doesn't she doesn't want to know about the paper clip. Let's see if there's anything in the cupboard then. Maybe there is. Nothing of interest in there. Oh. Mm, apparently not. Any Nico? ideas on how to reach those prongs in the console? Oh, if only we had some rubber gloves. Rubber gloves? Mm. I should have asked Annette for hers. <laughs> well, you can't take everything, Joe. True. We can't. Uh, huh. Are there any rubber no gloves around? No one was on the counter. Anybody? Mm, okay. Rubber gloves. I mean... It's, it's possible she knows where we can get something like that, I suppose. Mm, no, doesn't look like it. Huh, okay, well, that makes this somewhat problematic. There's nothing in the cupboard. Although we can, we can like, interact with the Looks cupboard, like which makes me... Closet. Unless there is something in there. Maybe we just needed to talk to, to Nico? Nothing of interest in there. No? Okay. Um, I don't know. Why can't we reach in? Is it just a case of it being... There was no way I could reach that far. Can we maybe ask Nico? No. I needed to avoid touching anything that could give me a shot. Okay. So why can't we just... The paper clip would do the trick connecting the two prongs. But I didn't want to just throw it in there. I might miss. Okay, I mean, is it like too dark? I only had a few matches. Using one now probably wasn't a good idea. Ah, uh, okay. So, using one now. So it's not that it's too dark in here. Can we, like, call Nico? My else? phone had no service. I couldn't make calls. No? Okay. Can we do anything with the fan? We cannot. Uh, I mean, can the jam help us out? I've got this weird clicking thing again. Um, can the jam over here help us out? Maybe we can, like, make the paper clip sticky? Well... I've done stranger things in my life. We can. The paperclip was now all sticky. Okay, so maybe it's a case then of it... We needed to be able to stick it to this, and it it wasn't to do with the length of... There was Oop. no way I could reach that far. I mean, he is saying about reaching that far, but I don't know. The paperclip would do the trick connecting the two prongs. But I didn't want to just throw it in there. I might miss. <sighs> this is weird. Like, I don't... Do we have to, like, disconnect the wires? The console looked complicated and dangerous. No, okay. <sighs> okay, fine. Um, we've got the cockroach. I could hear the little fella scuttling around in there. C I mean, can we, like... I stuck the paper clip to Trevor's back. <laughs> okay. I think it could work in an office now. <laughs> so we had to use, use the... Trevor could help, but I couldn't just throw him in there. Oh, come on. I slid him down at the edge where it was set. Oh, okay, there we go. I mean, how on earth is, is he going to do that? Let, let's be honest here. How, how? Oh, hang on. We can lure him with... Right, okay. Go, Trevor, go! I mean, it's a good puzzle. It's a little bit silly, though, isn't it? Let's be honest. Definitely not the most logical conclusion to that. Oh, no! Oh, he's okay. Jeez, I thought we'd zapped him. Poor Trevor looked like he needed therapy. But the console was working. Trevor, the true hero of Broken Sword 5, apparently. Well, we fixed the console, so there's that. Um, oh God, I really thought we'd killed him then when it did the zappy thing. The console. It's working. Cool. I can send you down there if you want. Uh, yeah. Let me just bring the cable car up here. Pearl and Dwayne are going to be mighty relieved. Who knew you could get so they attached to a cockroach? Going down in the other cable car. Come on, right. Nico. There's no time to lose. Alright, they've gone to the bottom, so I guess we'll meet them down there? 
As we got closer to the face in the rock, I knew for sure that we were on the right track. It was definitely the same as the face in the painting, but with one difference. The symbol of the tabula was missing from the rock formation. Yeah. All right, well, we made it down here, so I'm guessing we're well, going... here we are. ...to that little church. Hmm, but no way to reach the face. Maybe it's inside the mountain that, mountain that has the face on it. Maybe there's like a secret passage that leads us in here from inside Let's the church. Let's have a look around. There must be a way up. You would think so. But I'll tell you what, guys, we will do that in the next one because we are out of time. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to our patrons, Arcadies Games, Wayne, Nate, Termini Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Coumadin, and Paul Leone. And I'll see you next time.